boxing calendar over the next two months. As we look ahead to Ward Dawson next Saturday night, we invite you to visit our HBO Boxing Facebook page where you can pick the result of the fight. Here are your choices. Ward by knockout. Dawson by knockout. Ward by decision. Dawson by decision. Or a draw, which we've already had here this evening between Zinzurich and Gonzalez. I'll join by Max Kellerman here at ringside. All right, we shift gears and focus on our main event and Gennady Golovkin. Let's take a closer look, Max, at a talent-rich middleweight division. Yes, yeah, suddenly talent-rich, it's true. Of course, we have the big matchup with Chavez and Martinez coming up. The lineal middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Martinez, against the guy who suddenly is not just a name, but a, a real threat because of his size and his skill and his hunger at this point. Gennady Golovkin is considered by many insiders and has for several years to actually be the best guy in the division. Meanwhile, Felix Stern, long-term stalwart behind that jab, gets out hustled by Daniel Gale tonight. Gale now has a couple of belts, and Pirog, who upset American Danny Jacobs to win a belt, uh, was supposed to fight tonight, dropped out with an injury. Peter Quill Quillen, an up-and-coming fighter, Kid Chocolate has established himself as a real contender. Gennady Golovkin tonight, folks. It's not gonna be like the first fight. Wondering who might be winning on points. Maybe a punch here or there may win a round. Golovkin comes to knock you out. And so far, as an amateur and as a pro, he's almost always done it. But he's in tonight, Bob, with a guy who's capable of upsetting any middleweight in the world. Yeah, you mentioned Golovkin, 23-0, 20 knockouts. But let's talk a little bit about Gregor Proxto from Poland. Got 28 wins, Roy, and he brings a whole unique style, a style I know that you like. What can he do with that style against Golovkin? Well, what he has to do is try to use his head movement and his very unpredictable style to try to throw Glovkin's timing off. If he can make Glovkin, make it hard for Glovkin to time him coming in and going out, he can make a very difficult night for Glovkin and possibly could pull off an upset. But make no matter about it, he has a very tough task in front of him. This Glovkin kid is the truth. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our main event here this evening. Golovkin, 30 years of age, Proxa 27. They both weighed in at 159 pounds on our unofficial scales. Golovkin rehydrated to 168. Proxka to 166 pounds. He's 27 years of age. Gregor Proxka. Real unique style when he comes into the ring. Says it's kind of a homegrown style, Roy. He's got a lot of you in him with the way he moves around, and he says, really not by design, it's just the way I feel comfortable and the way I express myself. Yeah, he say he fights off instincts and reflexes, so he doesn't go out and try to set nothing up. He just lets the instincts take place and see what happens. Well, he was getting ready to go on a holiday with his family. He was going to take time off, but then he got the phone call, Max, and even while he was on the first days of his holiday, he ordered pasta when he went out for dinner with his wife and kids, and his wife said, you know what, I think you've said yes before you've said yes. Well, he had an opportunity to fight one of the best fighters in the world on HBO, debuting on American television on a very big stage. But I also think, Bob, he's just a competitive guy. And when the challenge ar arose, he took it. Roy, he's had some problems with his hands. He's had some surgery on his left hand, and hands seem to be a problem. We had a chance to talk with him yesterday. He said it wasn't a problem. Do you think it's something that could linger? No, I don't think they'll linger, but it does tell you that he must have good punching power in both hands. And we also get to see Golovkin tonight versus a softball in his debut on HBO. Never a good, easy task. Super J, there goes Praska. And he was a lot of fun to talk with, Max. Yeah, he has a star personality. He really does, and coming off a win against Kerry Hope back in July. The only loss of his career came to Hope earlier this year in March. Lost a 12 round majority decision. In a fight, he said, Look, it wasn't my best, but they gave me the rematch and I beat him. Beat him up, too. Triple G. Gennady Golovkin. His dream, he said, was to fight in the U.S. and on HBO. 
He realized he had to make the move, and here he is with that moment tonight, and he was exuberant about this opportunity. He's had so many hundreds of amateur fights, won almost all of them. As a pro, not only is undefeated, but all, almost all of them by knockout. Three guys have gone the distance. This is the best professional opponent he's ever faced, and he goes in there knowing at the age of 30, only now making his American TV debut, he not only has to win, but has to win big against the guy who it's not so easy to win against in the first place. Roy, he seemed very relaxed during the fighter meetings, very confident in himself, but not bragging or boisterous, a quiet confidence. Yeah, he has a quiet confidence about him. He's very confident, but he's so good, God made two of them. He has a twin brother that's almost as good as him. Wow. And his brother, Max, who stepped aside so that Gennady could move on to the Olympics and have the career that he's had. All right, we are, that's his brother, Max, right there holding the belt. They both kind of chuckle, and Max says, you know what? Gennady's the guy for the job. <laughs> no regrets on Max's part. He gets to hold the belt. And doesn't have to take any punches. All right, we're set for the introductions for our main event as we send it up to our ring announcer once again, Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing, and it will be for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. Brought to you by Arthur Polulo's Banner Promotions, Gary Shaw Productions, and Greg Cohen Promotions in association with K2 Promotions and Matchroom Sport. This event is also proudly associated with Centro Fox. It is sanctioned by the Oneida Indian Nation Athletic Commission. Commissioners Bill Founier, Dan Gustafson, and Terry Winslow. Along with the World Boxing Association, President is Gilberto Mendoza. Supervisor tonight is George Martinez. Our three judges assigned. Scoring on a 10-point must system will be Don Ackerman, Edwin Kintz, and Thomas Schreck. When the bell rings, our referee in charge, the third man in the ring will be Charlie Fitch. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Turning Stone Resort Casino here in Verona, New York, this is our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white trunks with red trim and weighed in at 159 pounds. Coming to us from Węgierska Górka, Poland, he brings a professional record of 28 wins. Just one defeat with 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the number three ranked contender in the world by the WBA and two-time European champion, Szegorz Super G Broksa. And his opponent across the ring in this main event, he is the defending champion, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing white trunks with blue and gold trim and weighed in the same as his opponent, 159 pounds. Hailing from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, he is undefeated with 23 wins. And 20 of his 23 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning WBA and IBO middleweight champion of the world, Gennady GGG Golovkin. Chief second. Okay. Good evening, gentlemen. 12 rounds for the WBA 
middleweight world title. We both know the rules going over in the dressing room. Protect yourself and obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now. Come on, fighting at the bell. If you're a hardcore boxing fan, maybe you remember a Golovkin from the Athens Olympics where he won a silver medal. Maybe you've seen him knocking guys out on YouTube. Maybe you've heard some of the legends of him beating up heavyweights in the gym. See how he does against the best opponent of his professional career right now. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Gennady Golovkin, Kazakhstan in the white trunks with the black patch on the back of his trunks. Proxa from Poland in the white and red. Wonder why Golovkin's nickname is Triple G. <laughs> His middle name is Gennadievich. So it's Gennady Gennadievich Golovkin. There's your Triple G. And already he's forced Proxa to put that left hand up a little bit to defend the overhand right. right. Two talented fighters meet. One guy keeps his hands higher, the other guy lower. And already the guy who keeps his hand lower has been tagged a couple times. Golovkin with five first round knockouts in his career. Proxa with one, and that came in his pro debut on March the 5th of 2005. Bob Papa, Roy Jones, Max Kellerman, Harold Letterman, Turning Stone Casino, Verona, New York. Main event just underway. Gennady Golovkin and Grigos Proxa on HBO's Boxing After Dark. And Golovkin, you're watching what most consider the best kept secret in boxing. Been fighting in Europe his entire professional career so far. He's 30 years old. And you see he's in against the guy who's doing a pretty fair Sergio Martinez impersonation, Roy. Well, yeah, he fights off instincts and reflexes, like he said, so he makes it very difficult for a guy to just time him and catch him coming in. And that's what Golovkin is having a problem with right now. It's going to take him a few rounds probably to really get his timing down pat. Right hand from Golovkin and Proxa gets hurt. Down he goes. First time in his career he's been down as an amateur or a pro. Six, seven, eight. Can you wait back your gloves? Okay, okay, you're all right. Proxa said he slipped. Referee ruled it a knockdown. Golovkin with a deceptively long reach, Roy. Yes, very long. And that left hook is a big issue for uh, Proxa. I don't think he has a defense for that left hook. Proxa feeling the power of Golovkin. Here in round one. But I want to see that shot right here. That right hand somewhere in here. Doesn't forget the head. Okay? No, it's all right. Okay, get up. I want to see that right hand this way. Okay, right on top. Okay? And when you throw the right hand, you touch. Yes, it's got to go to the right. Do you understand? Smile, smile. No one said that it was going to be easy. Take it easy. Control. Here you see Golovkin land. I think the best punch he landed was a left hook right there, and it was a delayed reaction because he came back and hit Proxa with a jab. Then Proxa loses his balance. But I think that was, that, that was all an effect of that big left hook. There was another good left hook to the body, followed by some more stuff that really wasn't that effective. We begin round number two. You can even see, and Max made the point of the deceptively long arms of Golovkin. And Roy, even with that jab, you could see the power that he has just in the jab. You know, Golovkin is a pressure fighter who's trying to get inside, but usually that guy has to get inside to land his bombs, and his arms are long, and he's able to land hey, bombs from long range. Very long range, but Proxa has to be careful here 
because when he throws some of his shots, he leaves his head right there to be caught by that left hook. From the armpit to the tip of the fist, Golovkin's reach is 24 inches to Kroxka's 22 and a half. Meanwhile, you see Golovkin's not exactly impossible to hit cleanly himself. <laughs> And we heard his trainer say in the meeting that when he sparred with certain fighters, he didn't like it for him because he would let those guys tee off on him, which means that he's not a hard object to hit. Roy, he's throwing a jab that's landing like a right hand, but he's not off balance when he's throwing it. Not off, balance at, not off balance at all. It's heavy, heavy jab in terms of how it's landing, but not in terms of the technique, meaning he's not off in front of his front foot. No, he's not, he's not off balance at all. You know, it's fascinating to see him. You know, we we get the tapes in our preparation. You watch it on tape. But having seen him and called every one of his fights in Athens to see the way he's matured and physically gotten stronger and sharper, it's pretty impressive seeing him in person. And you feel as though every punch he throws can end the fight. Yep. That was the hook that I was talking about. That Proxa had to be kept beware of. Good stiff jab again from Golovkin. Where Proxa is as game as they come, and he would not lay down. And he's throwing bombs himself, Proxa. Golovkin showing a very sturdy chin so far. Golovkin claims he's never been down in the gym as an amateur or as a pro. I asked him what's the worst he's ever been hurt, and he couldn't answer the question. He just claims took, he's never been hurt. Maybe he, maybe he hasn't, but he just took a good left hand. Hard to imagine a 30-year-old with his experience has never been hurt at some point, Roy, right? Very hard to imagine. Given his style. Well, his trainer, Abel Sanchez, when they work in Big Bear, he says, I got to bring in all big guys to work with him, Roy. Because he doesn't feel threatened by anybody his size. Including Angulo and Chavez Jr. and others. Maybe they should let him spot his twin brother. Ten seconds to the bell. Oh, he hurt it. He hurt, he hurt the back. Proxa. Yeah. Proxa was wincing in pain. Pawing at that left eye. Tuesday night at 10. It's the season finale of Hard Knocks. Training camp with the Miami Dolphins. Get an unfiltered look into the Dolphins as they make last-minute preparations and final cuts before the start of the regular season. Catch the next installment of the fight game with Jim Lampley Saturday, September 22nd. It's an insightful, in-depth look at the sport that you love. It takes you inside the sport of boxing. Don't. One, two. One, and then... Move to the side. Dive. Dive when there is the uh, left hook. Move to the left, move to the right. Gennady Golovkin ready to embark upon round number three against Zegors Prosta of Poland. Boxer went down in round number one. Roy, considering Golovkin's wide stance, break, which break, enables that break. punching power, how is he able to stay on balance and move around so well? Because he keeps his weight in the middle. As you see, he doesn't put all of his weight forward at no time in the fight. Right there, even when he's throwing punches and he's on the attack, his weight is still in the middle. See there? He's never too close, and he's not giving Proxa his weight to work with. So what is that, deceptively quick feet? No, 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 that's just called balance. You got to have that balance and keep your weight in the middle. Therefore, you can move it whichever direction you want to move it in. If you put it forward, then you give it to your opponent. If you keep it back too much, then you take away from your own power. But if you can keep it in the middle, then you're doing pretty good. Folks have landed an uppercut. It snacked back the head of Golovkin. Golovkin's doing pretty good. Stepped in with a left hand. Brooks is no cupcake. He's he didn't go down easily even in the first round, though he was hurt. He was still throwing punches when he fell. Roy, one of the impressive things about Golovkin, even when Proxa has his moments, Golovkin never looks flustered. He looks really relaxed, even in the heat of it. 
He reminds you of a Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. He's always very economical in what he does. He's never frustrated about not being able to get there because he feels like eventually he's going to catch you. A lot like Chavez Sr., Roy. <laughs> Every time he lands, you feel like Prox has to walk around with that shot. That's exactly right. And make no mistake about it, Prox is not a bad opponent either. He's a guy who's out here to win. A very good fighter, very good athlete. Good counter by Proxy. Considering his movement and southpaw stance, maybe on paper a more difficult opponent than the original opponent, Dmitry Pirov. I think he is. Boxer keeps his hands down, tries to just sort of step in. And it's very frustrating for a guy like uh, Golovkin, where a guy like Proxy can steal you with a left hand, and there's nothing you can do about it. But just then, you saw Golovkin get it back. So who's the middleweight Chavez Sr.? Is it Chavez Jr. or Gennady <laughs> Golovkin? I tell you what, that would make for one heck of a fight because of his style. He's still got a dangerous guy in front of him now. Referee Charlie Fitch steps in. Ten seconds to go. Oh. Final seconds of the round. Time! The Lovekin landing the hardest shots. Inside, you gotta pick him up. Okay, can't be everything on top. Okay? okay. Just stay busy. You, you just gotta wear him down, but you're waiting too much on the inside. Okay, yeah, when yeah. you tie him up, you gotta work. Okay. And I wanna see a little uppercut and a left hook. A little uh, uh, left hook and an uppercut, just mix them up. All right, okay. up and down, but you have to do it on the inside. Okay. Keep, keep it. Keep it. And move to the move to the middle right away after that. Remember that. Just move around, move around. And then speed up and counter attack. Well, if you've missed any part of tonight's telecast, you can catch one of a number of replays starting Sunday. Beginning Tuesday, watch tonight's fights anytime, anywhere on HBO Go, our streaming service for computers, iPads, iPhones, and Androids. As we start round number four, Gennady Golovkin and Grigor Proska as we check in with Harold Letterman. <laughs> okay, Bob, three to nothing, 30 to 26, Gennady Golovkin. You got to give Gennady Golovkin an extra point in round one because he knocked the other guy off his feet. You know, you score a knockdown, you get an extra point. So that's a 10-8 round. That's why it's 30 to 26. In any case, Zico's Proxa keeps bobbing and weaving, Bob, and he leans into the left constantly. Now, what gets me is every time Gennady Golovkin throws that right hand, he nails him because Proxa seems to, to you know, to, to bob and weave right into it. He goes to his left almost every single time. See? He always leans into the left. Gennady Golovkin hits him with a right hand. Three to nothing, Golovkin. I gotta say, it is rare you see a guy combine the natural heavy oh, hand. good left hand to the body and left to the head. Down goes Proxa. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see your gloves. Okay, we're good. Okay. Box! Yeah, I think the body shot started that exchange. The body shots hurt him and got him started. Then he tried to exchange with a big puncher. You can't do that. Boxer was off balance that time. You're good, okay. Well, I think you're 100% right. Those left hooks to the body started it all. Yeah, they did. It's, it's the combination of the heavy hands with the technique. So rarely do you see that in a fighter. <laughs> Golovkin just again. places the punches so well. Prox is in trouble again. The body shots are really what, what's hurting him. That's what's causing Prox to be a problem. Break, break, break! Don't let him be hit. Don't hit him in the back. Boy, and that's the body shots are really hurting. Hey, that's, that's impossible Box. to recover from, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, good 
I don't think Proxa has ever been hit this hard in his, in his entire career. Now, there's another combination from Golovkin. Great step We've back. seen middleweights in recent years, Edison Miranda, who are just spectacularly heavy-handed. But to do it with this level of technique and amateur background, Roy, it's uh, not often. Not often I, at I, all. I can't think of the last guy in the middleweight division. Sergio Martinez made it. Good, good left hook shot. to the body again by Golovkin. Martinez does not search and destroy like this guy. <laughs> left and a right to the head. Proxer game trying to counter. Time. End of round four. Must have felt like four rounds for Proxer. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on, come on. Go ahead. Will you? Will, will you keep it? Just clinch. Clinch and move it side. Move to the side. Clinch on this side. And he is confident. He will, he will uncover. And then you can get it. When he's pressing, then he's... Very good work. He's on. Very, very good. Here you see Glavkin miss with the left uppercut, come back with a beautiful left to the body. Then he goes to the opposite side with a right hand up top, followed by another beautiful left to the body, then followed by a left uppercut. The uppercut seemed to hurt him after the two body shots had did their damage. We begin round number five. Gennady Golovkin putting on a show against a game tough, talented Zegor Proxa, but outgunned. Golovkin fighting in the United States for the first time. 23 and 0, 20 knockouts. Silver medalist at the Olympics in Athens. But he is just tearing apart Proxa. Combinations to the head, those miss. Good right hand to the body. Proxa trying to counter. Golovkin just calm and cool as a cucumber, Roy. But you got to give Proxa a lot of credit here. This kid is showing a tremendous heart, being in with probably the hardest puncher he's ever seen in his life, and he's still giving us all he has. Oh, right hand hurt Proxa. Golovkin steps in, and down he goes again. Three. How tough is Proxa? No, no, no. <laughs> the referee stops it. Guys, Proxa destroyed Sebastian Sylvester in three rounds not long ago. He is a top middleweight. Uh, tonight, I think he could have given a lot of middleweights in the world run based on what I saw. He was no match for Gennady Golovkin. At all. Oh, my goodness. He had never been down. Down three times as Golovkin gets stoppage number 21. Doesn't even look like he broke a sweat. There is a monster in the middleweight <laughs> division. And he said he'd fight anyone from 154 Floyd Mayweather to 168 Andre Ward. They would do the fight right now. Good overhand right by Golovkin. Followed by a left hook. Keeps his weight well balanced right there on the attack. Never see him overshoot nothing. Another overhand right and left hook. Caught a hook. Another beautiful left hook to the back of the neck. Church over. And he never seems rushed, Golovkin. Even never when he does. knows his man is hurt. That left hook to the back of the head hurt Proxa pretty bad. And Proxa, as you saw right there, still was trying to fight back. Just couldn't make nothing happen. He went down in the first, down in the fourth, and then here in the fifth, Golovkin shows him no love, and he ends it. Right to the ear. Proxa was trying to plead his case to Charlie Fitch, but Charlie said, you've taken enough. All right, let's get the official particulars of the stoppage as we send it up to Thomas Triver. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 11 seconds of round number five. Our referee in charge, Charlie Fitch, stops the contest. Your winner by way of technical knockout and still WBA and IBO middleweight champion of the world, Gennady GGG Golovkin. Trip, Triple G was that good as he takes apart Gregor's Proxa as we take a look at the total punch numbers in the fight for Golovkin and Proxa. Golovkin threw 301. He landed at 34 percent. Maintained a very steady clip in this fight. The middleweight average is 57 thrown per round. He averaged in this fight over that margin 60 punches per round. And let's take a look at the power punches where Golovkin landed 40 percent over the course of the fight. 74 of 187. He dropped Proxka three times. Proxka had never been down as an amateur or pro down three times here this evening. So what did Golovkin do as far as placing his punches? You see to the right the punches landed on Proxa. 79 to the head. He did good work to the body. Those left hooks in round number four really opened things up in his 101 connects. Gennady Golovkin victorious again. He's standing by with Max Kellerman. Oh my goodness. I've seen that guy destroy some world-class fighters. How did you just do that? Yeah, thank you, Max. Yeah, Brox is seriously a good fighter. No, he's strong. Mm, I feel him. I feel him after the second round. I feel like I see I can. I can punch him. Just relax, just the fighting. Yeah. Great fight. Well, it was a great performance. It was a bit one-sided. You drop him in the first round, suddenly. What were you thinking at that time? Uh, you know, I see, I feel him. Yeah, right. This is my first fight in America, yeah? United States. Thank you so much, my public. Thank you so much, my corner. Thank you so much, my coach, my family, my team. Yeah. Not easy fight for me today. I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to fight. I know him just after first round. I see, I feel I'm better. Um, this is your debut on American television on HBO. First fight here in America. How do you feel after this kind of a performance? I'm happy now. This first, right, this first fight in HBO. Thank you so much, special for HBO. You know, it's my dream now. This is my dream in fighting in HBO, on HBO, and at America. I'm happy. I'm happy now. It might be difficult for you to get guys to get in the ring with you right now, even in this very deep, talented middleweight division. You said that you'd, you told me yesterday that you'd fight anyone from 154 to 168 pounds. Who do you have in mind? Seriously. Uh, doesn't matter who next, you know. I'm ready. I'm stay here. I'm in America. I'm happy now. I'm ready now. Would you fight anyone from 54 to 68? Uh, oh, yeah, everybody. Anyone? Of course, anyone, yeah. Of course. If Andre Ward beat Chad Dawson, you'd fight him? Yeah, what not? Yeah, Andre Ward is a good man. I beat Andre Jarrell, you know. I'm ready now. That was a, an amazing performance. Uh, thank you for that, and I'm sure we'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. You know, thank you so much, Special HBO. I love you. Bob? All right, Max, Gennady Golovkin. You know, in a lot of ways, when you talk to him, he's kind of an old soul. But when he puts those gloves on, he's a lion. And tonight, he had a chance to achieve a dream, to fight in the United States. And I'm sure after tonight's performance, we'll be seeing a lot more of Gennady Golovkin. Coming up next on HBO, you don't want to miss it. It's the premiere of 24-7, Chavez Jr. Martinez, as we offer an uncensored look into the lives and camps of these fighters as they get set to square off for the middleweight championship September 15th on HBO Pay-Per-View. So now for our entire Boxing After Dark crew, 
I'm Bob Papa saying so long from Turning Stone Casino and Resort in upstate New York. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.